Hey guys, this is Issues with Toddy One Skip. I am Toddy One Skip. Welcome back to my channel and thank you again for allowing me to be part of your day. Guys, we have over 2,600 people, over 3,600 people. How many people do we have? We have a lot of people and that's because of all of you, all of you. And I just really thank you for that. I'm one person in this community, a community that I'm proud to be a part of. So guys, thank you so much. I wanted to, uh, Talk to you a little bit about our favorite uh, Gypsy Rose Blanchard because let me tell you why. So I watched JD Delay. Now, Delay is uh, an ex con who has a channel and he talks about, you know, what it's like inside, what happens to people inside, what would happen to people, certain groups in certain gangs. And he, he gets into it and his, he's very entertaining. His stories are very um interesting very interesting but for some reason he started talking about gypsy rose blanchard and saying that why don't people just leave her alone just leave her alone and i thought jd stay in your lane man <laughs> talk about the people that are incarcerated gypsy rose we're talking about gypsy rose because gypsy rose wants us to talk about her you know how I know she wants us to talk about her? Because she posts everything she wants us to know. She wants us to know when her marriage is over. She wants us to know that she's dating somebody else. She wants us to know everything about her life. She has a reality show. Therefore, JD, we are allowed to know about Gypsy Rose Blanchard. And I know that you said she did her time, but I think you might feel different about it if if you knew the circumstances and if you thought maybe she did a little bit more of the crime than we originally thought and somebody who's now doing LIFE was probably very, very manipulated. And while she's out living the time of her life making millions of dollars and telling us her life story in her words, which I don't know how we could believe her, there's somebody that's actually doing time for something that I really believe he was picked to do without him knowing it, you know. So as much as I like you, J.D. DeLay, come on, man, stay in your lane because we have every reason to talk about Gypsy Rose and to feel like society, you know, isn't safe with her because She's capable of anything. She uses people. She disposes of people. Content creators aren't safe when it comes to her. But you'll probably be okay because you're on her side. Guys, I like JD. But seriously, we're talking about Gypsy Rose because Gypsy Rose has made her life our business. She's doing a reality series that I suppose is going to show us how happy she is with Ryan only now to know she ain't so happy with Ryan. There's a lot of things that I, that are coming out about Ken and Ken supposedly has, and this is alleged, Ken Urkel is his name, the ex fiance who now might be the fiance again. We don't know. He has some sort of criminal past. I believe that's the word out there. And Gypsy couldn't have gone and lived with him. And she can't while she's on probation. She, I don't think, is supposed to be associating with people so that have that kind of history. So we're going to have to see if maybe whatever was going on with Ken, that that timeline is up and now she can be involved with him. And, I mean, is she breaking parole by being with Ken? What did Ken do? So we're going to look into this because this is a whole other story now regarding our friend Gypsy Rose, who's made it our business because she did like this lifetime uh, where she's at the gravesite of her grandma, which makes no sense to me that she would be telling Ryan and speaking to us about her grandma. That would be Dee Dee's mom and how much uh, she misses her and how much Dee, uh, Dee Dee loved her and how Dee Dee was just devastated when Mama, that's the grandma, passed away. Now, didn't somebody say 
that Dee Dee was trying to poison her mom? Like, he, see what I'm saying? Like, poor Dee Dee. Dee Dee. Poor Dee Dee Blanchard. I don't think you were nearly as bad as people wanted you to be to make Gypsy look good. Somebody always has to look bad, apparently, for somebody to look good. Why can't that be? If somebody genuinely is going to look good, they don't need to bring people down to make them look good. You know what I'm saying? So that's a bit wonkadoodle. And, you know, Gypsy telling us uh, in one breath to that she wants to keep her life private and then in the next breath to sell us a reality TV show is kind of like when Prince Andrew said, you know, I went to say goodbye to Jeffrey Epstein. Well, why did you just not, why didn't you just stop talking to him? No, that doesn't work. I got it. I had to go. Now I couldn't even do it over the phone. I had to go there and tell him. It's kind of like the same thing. Do you believe it? Gypsy doesn't want us to not know about her life because that would be very easy. She wouldn't have sold her life to Lifetime. And she wouldn't be telling us and having people tell us. So Christy's telling us what's going on and has been telling us what's going on. And Gypsy's been letting us know what's going on. So I would tend to leave people in their own business if their business wasn't for sale for everybody to see and buy. And maybe if she wasn't making a living off of what she did to her mom, you know that the only thing that she is infamous for, that she is known for, is the unaliving of her mom through the manipulation that she caused of Nick go to John. So, and didn't something just come out about Nick where he's got to go to the Supreme Court now or something? I don't know. There's so much, so many working parts here, but that's okay because it's content that you guys like. And I don't mind talking about because again, it is always a little bit lighthearted when it comes to Gypsy Rose. She doesn't take her own life very seriously, it seems. So it's very hard for me to take her life seriously. So she's going to be entertaining us for a while as long as she wants to continue to entertain us. And again, it's very simple. If she doesn't, just keep some and walk away from it all. But that's not what she wants. So guys, we're going to keep talking about her. And we're going to find out what's going on with her. And we'll be right front center with all the other people that want to keep the eye on the ball of Gypsy Rose Blanchard. Guys, this is Issues with Toddy One Skip. Tell me what you think. Anything? Is there anything Gypsy would do that would honestly surprise you besides telling you guys the truth? Anything? 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 Did you guys know that, seriously, supposedly Ken has uh, a criminal past? I don't understand. But... Do you get, did you guys know about that? Have you heard about that? All right, guys. This is Issues with Toddy One Skip. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you feel about it. Guys, I, I went and looked at my analytics because apparently now I could see them. I don't know how I would find them again. But it looked like half of the people that watch the video aren't subscribed to the channel. Please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate that. Give me a chance. And if you don't like me, you can unsubscribe. We don't hunt you down. We're not a cult. You can leave anytime you want. But we ask, please, that you give us a shot. Guys, even my dogs have invited you. Anyway, guys, this is Issues with Toddy One Skip. Please communicate in the comments. I do, and I appreciate it. Be better today than you were yesterday. Not half as good as you're going to be tomorrow. <laughs> and always be yourself. That's what my dogs say. All right, guys. Take care. Thank you.